Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster. Today we do have some more exciting news about Star Wars The Black Series coming out of Star Wars Celebration. Now, Hasbro will have their official Black Series panel here very shortly, so uh, make sure to stay tuned because I'll be covering all the news that does come out of that. But first, if you did miss my video yesterday, Hasbro did reveal six Star Wars The Black Series Bad Batch figures at Celebration yesterday, and they actually did go ahead and put them up at their display at Celebration today, we do have some first look photos out of box of these figures. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Real quick though, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go down, hit that like button, and subscribe because we are so close to 10,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I do really appreciate all the support and I cannot thank you guys enough. And so because of that, we are going to be doing a giveaway at 10k. We're going to be giving away both this Commander Cody and 212th figure. So if you are interested, make sure you go down and hit that sub button because you do have to be subbed to the channel to enter. And then once we do hit 10k, I'll release a giveaway video. All you have to do is comment on that video to enter. So. If you aren't yet subbed, please consider it. I would greatly appreciate it, and I just appreciate all of the support so far. Anyway, on to the news. So first up, we do actually have Echo. Now, all these photos are from Figure Brian on Instagram, so make sure to go check him out. He is linked in the description. But yeah, first up is Echo, and I gotta say, I still think this one is my least favorite of the Season 2 squad. I think that I like his design, but they like added some weird colors in there. Like, it's like some brown and some tan, and it just doesn't really match the rest of the gray armor. So I think this one's my least favorite, and this is not Hasbro's fault. This is more of the, like, the Lucasfilm design team who designed the Season 2 armor. Uh, you know, Hasbro's just making the figure of it, so I don't blame Hasbro for that, but I just think that the actual design of the armor is not my favorite. Next up is Hunter, and I gotta say, seeing this guy out of box is really nice, and I think that he's probably my favorite one so far out of box. I do really like the green and orange color scheme that he has going on. It complements the gray armor nicely, and overall, I think it just looks really cool. I also do love the brand new shoulder pads, so it's nice seeing this guy out of the box. And I love that he has holsters too now, because on the original figure, he doesn't have holsters, so you don't have anywhere to really put his blasters. So, really, really happy to see that on this new figure. And then next up, we do have Tech out of the box, and he also looks really, really nice. I do kind of like how they changed the red color scheme to orange, almost. It's nice for this figure, but I think the real draw to this figure is the goggles, because you can actually take off the helmet, and he has the goggles on his face, unlike the Season 1 version. So I might have to buy two of these ones just to head swap my Season 1 version, because I cannot take off the helmet, because he just looks really stupid without the goggles. So really excited about this one. Uh, cannot wait to get this one in hand. Next up is Wrecker, and this is another one that looks really good out of the box, but I do have to say I think he's the one with like the least amount of changes. It's pretty subtle, uh, the changes that he does have. I think there is a little bit of new sculpting, but for the most part, this guy is just mainly reuse, and I think he looks great, but again, there's not a ton of changes to this figure overall. And being a deluxe figure, I think we'll have to see how much he peg warms, because I know a lot of mainline deluxe figures tend to peg warm. Now, this one will be a, tar or a Walmart exclusive, so we'll see if that affects his av availability, but yeah, still a pretty good looking figure. Next up, we have Omega. She is mainline, which is nice, but I gotta say, I think this one is one of the ones I'm most excited for. I'm not a huge fan of the Season 1 design, especially because she has, like, the messed up hair piece. So it's really, really nice to get a swappable head with the Season 2 figure that has the normal hair for Omega. So really excited about that. And plus, I do just like that Season 2 outfit a little bit better. So this one's a definite pickup for me. I'm not sure if I'm happy that it's mainline. It is only like packed one per case so that's good we'll have to wait and see but i think this one's a pretty good figure and i'm definitely excited to pick it up and plus it looks great out of the box as well and then last up we do have the plain white commando from bad batch and i gotta say this one is by far my favorite just the plain white glossy armor with the blue visor it matches so well and it's just like mwah, chef's kiss it's so good i i cannot get enough of this guy and i'm gonna try to pick up four or five of them if i can he is a walmart exclusive so he's gonna be decently hard to get but with how awesome this guy looks i cannot stress enough how many of these guys i'm gonna pick up because he just looks so good and you know i love the designs of the colored commandos kind of like the like delta squad but i forgot how good the plain white clean look looks so really really excited about this guy gonna try to pick up a few if i can and i wouldn't be surprised if they maybe do a repaint or a re-release of this guy in the gaming greats line someday but he does look incredible and he's by far my favorite he just he, i don't think the the like glam shots do enough justice of how good this guy looks in hand in these photos so really excited Cannot wait to pick this guy up.
Anyway, that is all of the first look figures we do have for today. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts down below because I would love to hear them. But yeah, really excited about this. And I will be covering again all of the reveals, which are very, very shortly here. So make sure to stick around on the channel to find out about the... There's an estimated about 10 to 20 Star Wars League Black Series and TBC reveals, so we're really excited. There's going to be a lot to talk about. Make sure to come back so you don't miss out on any Star Wars League Black Series news. Anyway, that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.